Salut, c'est Mike pour le Views Magazine. Nous sommes en compagnie de la très charmante Amélie Lenz. Et nous allons faire l'interview en anglais puisqu'elle préfère euh, cette... <rire> Do you prefer people looking at you on a picture because you're a model or people looking at you as a DJ on the stage? I guess I prefer uh, as a DJ because um, as a model they just like they take me and they put makeup on me and they put clothes on me and they tell me who I, like who I have to be and then you know I just do it and as a DJ I'm just being myself and do what I love so DJing for sure yeah. <laughs> What do you think about the position of the women uh, on the um, electronic business in Belgium? Yeah, in Belgium. Or in the, in the world? Yeah. Um, I think now it's getting a lot better and there are many, many really great um, female uh, producers and DJs doing very well. But I think it's just like recently, I think like 10 years back, it was really... Um, a minor, like just a few female DJs, but now there are so many. I think it's good, so... Yeah, um, uh, have you seen some discrimination uh, between men and women uh, on the electronic business? Um, yeah, I think actually like the, like some events, they are like female only events. Um, they try to book me for it many times and if... Um, I do it sometimes by accident, you know, if they're only females, but if they really put it on the flyer, like female only, then I don't do the, because I think it doesn't matter if I'm female or not female, you know, it's about the music, you know, it's, so I think there is still some kind of uh, discrimination, positive, but also negative. Some. Still now? Yeah, yeah, I feel it, yeah. What's your favorite female artist? I have so many. Um, I think at the moment it's uh, Rebecca. She's, um, I don't really know where she's from, but she's a really, it's really dark underground music, but also she's very um, healthy. You know, I, I follow her on Instagram and she's like doing a lot of workouts and she's also vegetarian and she cares about the environment and just everything about her, I think. And she's an amazing producer and a great DJ. And uh, I think it's, um, For me, it's important not to just like the music, but also the person, you know, and what they stand for. So, Rebecca, for sure. Can you compare the clubbing, um, North clubbing and South clubbing in Belgium? Um, is there some differences? Yeah, I think there is. I think um, for me, the few times I played in the South of Belgium, the techno is the techno scene itself is much bigger in the South. Like I, I can, I can just play what, like the harder the better, you know. They just like it, and in Flanders it's more um, house and tech house. And if I go too hard, they are like, you know, they they don't really. But it depends on the parties. But in general. So you prefer the south? Yes, I'm sorry, Flanders. <laughs> What's um, your favorite track? Uh, your hottest track that you put in every DJ set? Uh. I have a few and I change, um, yeah, it changes a lot, but at the moment it's um, from Kobozil, he's an artist from Osguton, yeah, he's really young, um, uh, it's called Saldae, yeah, and it's a really hard but slow, it's really like, yeah, it's a really slow, hard techno track and I always play it to like uh, start my set and it always works because it's really um, like intense. What's your best club moment? ever uh, as a DJ? Yeah. Um, I think it was um, Chalet in Berlin. I played there um, after DJ Hell in the main room uh, from like 3 till 9 in the morning but my flight was at 11 but I was supposed to stop at 7 uh, and then I was like I'm gonna miss my flight I have to go now and they people were just like You know, they don't stop, they just want to dance and dance and for me it was the best set ever because it was uh, the longest set I ever played. Usually I play like two, three hour sets, but there it was like, yeah, from like, six, hours. six hours. Yeah, and for me it was amazing. What advice can you give to a young artist? Don't ever give up, 
on your dreams like sometimes for me in the beginning it was really difficult because I didn't um, like you want you want to play and you want to play your music but it's really slow and it takes time and you have to prove yourself and also what I think is important um, to not just take any booking even though if you would love to play every weekend you have to say no if you think it's not for you or if you if they sometimes like they book me but they ask me to play a house set and I'm like no I'm a techno DJ so techno is what you're gonna get um, so I think that's really important to stay true to yourself and just don't play because you want to play I have a little object for you present? Uh, not kind of presents, just something this okay and my question is very simple what do you see in the mirror I guess I see uh, happiness because um, for me this is a really good time um, in my life because yeah I'm playing at uh, Les Transardentes which is great also my new EP is coming out and I just feel my like my cheekbones they hurt because I'm smiling all the time for like a week so when I took the mirror I just saw my face like being really happy so happiness happiness <laughs> Heart, love.